So we're back and today we're going to be comparing some power stones and seeing which power stone really is best for you in terms of damage. There are a couple of different contenders um, so it'll be interesting to take a look at them. So let's get into it. But before we do, if you do go on to enjoy the video and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We're on the road to 14k and um, every subscriber helps so I would appreciate it. Also you should leave a like on the video, it lets me know that you actually enjoy the videos and it also boosts the video in the algorithm. Finally, my Discord server is the top link in the description. There's really no reason not to join. Anyway, let's get into the video. I hope you all do enjoy. So at this point, I've now made a few videos on power stones and how you now reforge your talismans, essentially. Now, I have explained how they work, but what I haven't gone into is which power stone is best for you. Obviously, you've got to consider budget, which army you use, which weapon you use, and pretty much everything else to do with your profile. It's not as simple as it seems on the surface. So in order to do the most damage, you want to try and balance your strength and your crit damage, so you want your strength and your crit damage to be as close to the same as possible. This maximises your damage. Obviously mine aren't very close now, but if I put my gear on, my strength and crit damage aren't completely the same, but they're closer. Now it's very easy to jump to conclusions and say, oh well the Luxurious Spool is the best because it's going to give me 443 crit damage, and obviously that's dependent on your magical power. Whereas something like Bloody gives you way less crit damage, but also gives you a decent amount of strength. You've got to consider. First of all, you have to consider what weapon you're using and what reforge you have on your weapon. If you're using a weapon with Withered on, for instance, where it gives you a big strength buff, obviously you, you want to counteract that strength with crit damage, unless you already have it. Therefore, maybe on your power stones you might go for something more crit damage heavy rather than a balance, because for you it's, it, it wouldn't be best to have a balance sort of power stone. In other words, what I'm saying is I've seen a lot of people talk about the luxurious spool at the moment, um, which of course gives you the silky reforge. And as you can see, the stats are simply plus a big amount of crit damage, so plus 443 at 500 magical power, and then the plus 5 bonus attack speed. We'll ignore that for now. But the crit damage increase obviously doesn't, it's not accompanied by a strength increase, which means this power stone is going to be good if before having the power stone on, you have a lot less strength to crit damage. Therefore, your crit damage is going to come close to your strength, and i.e. do more damage. To be honest, there is a bit more to it than that, but that's pretty much simplified. Something else you have to consider is to actually get the silky reforge on your accessories. Um, it's going to cost you around about 12.5 million coins. Next, we're going to take a look at the beating heart. Um, it's actually a reforge that I have. I don't use it because I feel like there's something better for me. Um, but it's pretty good and considering the price, it's definitely a contender. So let's take a look at the buffs here. So plus 199 strength, plus 199 crit damage, so it's equal. This is at 500 magical power and plus 66 intelligence, which is pretty much secondary. Gives you plus 10 bonus attack speed, but once again, we're going to ignore that for now. If you already have balanced crit damage and strength, then this is a pretty good option if you don't have too many coins. It's definitely one of the best budget reforges. And uh, in order to get this applied, it's only going to cost you 2.75 mil, which is not too bad at all. The next power stone we're going to look at is the Magma Urchin, which, from my point of view, from my perspective, uh, and where I'm up to in the game, is probably the best fit for me. Obviously, this is completely different, considering everyone's at different stages in the game. It is the most expensive one we've looked at at just over 2 million coins per unit. Um, but if we take a look at the stats, at 500 magical power, it gives plus 89 strength, plus 354 crit damage, and plus 15 bonus attack speed. Once again, this talisman is good, basically, if you have less strength and more crit damage and want to equal it out. In that way, somewhat similar to the luxurious spool, but not as extreme. And also, it gives you a plus extra 10 bonus attack speed. Although this would set you back 19 million coins to get it applied. Obviously, if you don't have too many coins, you can just use the free ones. Granted, they're not as good, but they're free. It's extra stats at the end of the day. So I currently have both Bloody and Hurtful unlocked. So that's the Beating Heart and the Magma Urchin. I'm going to do some damage tests with both and um, basically explain and sort of put into practice why this in particular is better for me. But this could be better for some people at a push. So this is pretty much my usual set for dungeons. So it's this Necron set with this Juju short bow and a level 100 skeleton pet. So I've currently got Bloody applied, so that's the beating heart. This gives me 944 strength and 819 crit damage. So the damage that I'm doing um, is around about, if we can actually get a proper hit, 222k. 222, 223, 222. And then with Hurtful applied, as you can see, um, let's take a look at our stats now. So 816 strength and 999 crit damage. And to be honest, from looking at my stats, 
I may actually benefit more from the um, luxurious spool. It would sort of balance it out a bit more for me. But to be honest, I geared this more to when I had my giant sword, um, which brings the strength up because I had the withered reforge on it. But yeah, it just shows that obviously depending on where you're at in the game, obviously then determines sort of which is best for you. It's not just one set of stone that's the best. So a lot of people have been asking, well, which is the best power stone then? And the answer is, well, there's not really any right answer. It just depends. It depends what you could benefit most from, really. Anyway, this is going to just about wrap up the video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.